Hey, Fox Sports fans, Dr. Matt Preventure here. So today I'm going to break down the injuries from around the league from week seven and then talk about which players are going to be playing week eight and then those who we won't see. So first up, it's being reported that Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman went in for some type of knee procedure and he's going to be out for week eight against the Bills. It's been known that Julian's been off and on dealing with a knee injury after his ACL tear that took him out for a good portion of the season, as well as an off-season recovery. Julian was limited at practice on Wednesday, but then on Thursday went in to have the procedure. Julian, know you, buddy. You're a tough guy. I wish you luck getting back on the field. And I think when you come back, we're going to see some significant improvement in your numbers and overall performance. So next up, we have Jaguars quarterback Gardner Minshew, who injured his thumb on his throwing hand. It's been reported that Minshew is dealing with a ligament injury to his thumb, again on his throwing hand, as well as some fractures, which I think are probably some small avulsion fractures that are tied into the ligaments around the thumb. Although I can't be for certain about this, and we will wait additional confirmation from the Jaguars organization, the throwing hand thumb is very important because you need to be able to grip the ball and squeeze the thumb in and hold it so you can snap it and hold it with very good force. The ligaments that we're talking about are either here in the thumb or a little bit lower and sometimes those ligaments can pull off or strain off if it's injured and pull a small piece of bone, also known as an avulsion fracture. Many times these can scar in and heal quite well with splinting and taking some time off. I think it's a little too early to tell how this will affect Gardner, but I can tell you this is really important for his throwing hand to have that grip strength in the thumb and those ligaments as robust and functioning as well as possible. I think it's too early to tell to see how long Gardner's gonna be out, but we wish you luck and look forward to seeing you back on the field real soon. Well, how about another quarterback? Last week, we saw Andy Dalton quarterback for the Cowboys go down with a pretty hard hit to the head and was immediately placed into the concussion protocol. As expected, he did not practice on Wednesday or Thursday with the Cowboys. And from our data at Proven Performance, we estimated that he would be out 1.5 to two weeks as he safely and progressively advances through the concussion protocol. The good news for Andy and Cowboys fans is, what does he look like when he comes back? Well, our data from Proven Performance and looking at quarterbacks that come back from concussion they actually do very well week one on their first game back after their return to play after emerging from the concussion protocol. And in fact, if you look at the averages, quarterbacks are doing even a little bit better after returning from concussion, even week one when they return to play. Andy, we look forward to seeing you back on the field real soon and good luck with your recovery. Next up is another Dallas Cowboy who suffered a concussion, but looks like he's passing very well through the concussion protocol in that he practiced full participant on both Wednesday and Thursday with the Cowboys. Zach Martin should be back on the field this Sunday. And what does it look like for him when he returns? Well, our data from Proven Performance, when you review his concussion performance back in 2017 when he had one was Zach came back the immediate week after he was released from concussion protocol and had an outstanding game with a very high snap percentage that was equivalent to his pre-concussion numbers. Snap percentage is a surrogate for player performance, coaches confidence in you, and the amount of game that you overall play. So we like this statistic to see how Zach is gonna do coming up this weekend. We think that Zach's gonna have a very high snap percentage, must let, much like he did in 2017. And Zach, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. So lastly, what about Chicago Bears linebacker, Khalil Mack? 
I mean, this is certainly one tough football player. He's been dealing with a nagging ankle injury off and on. And he was not a participant in practice on Wednesday and Thursday. Although I think it's a little too early to tell if Khalil's going to be available on Sunday, I think it's unlikely that he plays. Now, if he does play, the good news is if we use our data from proven performance, Khalil had an ankle injury in 2018. And when you look at our data, he came back extremely well week one after being out with this ankle injury. In fact, he had more quarterback hurries and sacks, more tackles solo, and had a very solid performance week one after his injury in 2018. Khalil, don't know if you're going to be available this weekend as of yet, but we wish you luck and look forward to seeing you back on the field real soon. All right, so that's it for this week's recap. Fox Sports fans, enjoy the games on Sunday.